So you think you think with the Kendrick concert and everybody coming together, as time goes by, same shit happening. Gang shootings, drive-bys. Man, Kendrick did that for a video shoot. He didn't do that to bring niggas together. Them niggas just found niggas they just found something to dance to. No, why, no, no, no. And why I'm saying that is because he, he let a lot of up and coming LA artists perform that night. They ain't going nowhere. Ain't nobody finna listen to no bunch of up and coming LA artists, but LA people in their neighborhood. Don't nobody wanna hear that shit. Nigga, nigga Kendrick, nigga, listen. Let me just say this. Drake way better. Drake way better rapping. Nigga, I know Drake's song. I ain't never heard a nigga in Texas pull up bumping Kendrick shit, nothing. Nigga, we like much as I don't like that nigga. Nigga, you heard me who I nigga I ain't nigga. Come on, my I was just going against the grain. But come on, let's be fair and clear. Me and Kendrick can't compare Unless you like twisted your fingers up like the retarded people. Yeah, that's the only way you go like Kendrick, you got to be retarded with the career die mood. Sensible people don't gravitate to that bullshit. So so what? He gave these up and coming artists. A spotlight for the day. Most of them will be by tomorrow. Due to the gang politics. <laughs> California. Compton or whatever you want to call it. Homie, it's not vibrant. So why would you go shoot somewhere where, nigga, nothing grows here. Everything dies. For what? This situation is really crazy. Now, I can boldly say that I made the right predictions. Let's start, bro. Whether you like Kendrick or whether you like Drake, no, no debate, right? Because we can't rate Kendrick Lamar above Drake. I mean, we saw everything that went on right here on stage in Los Angeles, right? Kendrick was giving these people, all these rappers, all these gangs, bringing them on stage and doing his thing. No doubt what he was doing, bro. But that's what people expected him to do. He was acting out of expectations. Now, they say that he was trying to unite all the gangs and stuff like that, but he never solved none of that problem. Trust me, because there is some gang politics that goes on in Los Angeles. And trust me, this shit is deeper than just performing live and taking pictures together. That's not going to solve a problem, bro. Now, he might have solved a little bit problem that night, right? Because he was trying to preach unity on stage, but he was just doing that so he can shoot a music video. That's exactly what Justin White was trying to say. And there's no, you know, there's no doubt about that because I believe it, right? Because if Kendrick Lamar was actually doing all this stuff and shot a music video the next day, bruh, he's been waiting to shoot that music video all his career. Trust me. Now, some people said, why would he need the police around his neighborhood and stuff like that? Because he just finished, you know, bringing unity among the gangs in LA and everybody was celebrating on stage. Why would you need all the, you know, chief of police or police deputies to come up to, you know, protect the community from stuff and stuff? Because you never solved the problem. Now, the media was trying to put it on Drake that Kendrick was scared of Drake and, stuff, and they know that Drake will never make a move in, in Los Angeles, right? Because, you know, this guy just went on stage and claimed to be a king. Bruh, listen now, it's crazy. Now, some of these upcoming artists that he gave some platforms on stage that very day, bruh, I can't even remember none of them. And none of you all have ever listened to none of their music, right? Because this is not collaborations. This is nothing. This is just performing on stage. And he just did that, you know, to up his streams, bruh. And Kendrick has been accused and been exposed of using artificial intelligence, of buying streams, and buying streams to attack Drake music and on, on YouTube and sending fake stuff, bruh. And we can't prove that's not real, bruh. The dude came out and said that Kendrick called him or the team called him to actually buy these fake streams on social media and that's real bro it's crazy now listen up i will say this for one time drake is bigger than kendrick i mean we are talking about global globalization of kind of fame right drake has that kind of fame that 50 cents had when he was actually rapping right crazy doubt me right 
there's no doubt about that situation. Drake is bigger than Kendrick. Now, you can go argue with your ancestors, but, you know, Drake is bigger than Kendrick, bruh. Right? Now, at the end of the day, I will say this nicely. Trust me. Kendrick actually did some harsh stuff, right? When they were beefing and all that crazy stuff that was going on between them. But at this point, I will tell you all that every foul play that Kendrick did doing the beef that he had with Drake is actually being exposed right now because Drake is posting that shit on his Instagram story saying, listen up, bro. Dude is using artificial intelligence to buy streams. Now, you can't compare the type of streams that Drake is getting. You can't compare it with Kendrick because, bro, Drake is a streaming artist. Trust me. And you all tell me how many rappers or how many artists in the industry has done collaboration with Kendrick Lamar and actually gotten a global music or having music go number one or go on B-Bird or, 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 or get all these platinums and stuff like that. Only Drake can do that shit, bruh. There's no doubt about what, you know, Justin White was trying to say. There's no doubt about that, right? You can argue all you want, but the truth is the truth. I don't listen to Kendrick. If I want to vibe, I actually listen to Drake. But, you know, if I want to kind of listen to that type of lyricist type of stuff. Now, we are talking about good music, bro. We are talking about, bro, you, you wouldn't understand what, you know, what Justin White was trying to say, except you really, really can really tell yourself the truth. I know I'll respect you if you're a Kendrick fan on my channel. I'll respect you for that. You know, no, no disrespect about that. But, bro, this is not about fan base. This is about saying the truth. And that's what Justin 